Hello, you all are looking so inspiring. You are. I'm Kristen Rao Finkbeiner, and I'm the executive director of Moms Rising. Um, thank you. A million member organization working to increase family economic security and decrease discrimination with members in every state in our nation. And you might be wondering, what is our movement? Well, I would like every woman here, every person here who is a mom, could you please raise a hand? Now I want everybody who has ever had a mother at any point in their life. This is our movement, right? This is us. We are all in this together. And I want to ask you, who here is feeling powerful tonight? Who here is feeling united tonight? And who is ready to fight with and for each other as we lift up our nation so everyone can thrive? Are you all ready for some good news? I have some good news. When it comes to the state of our union, our nation is on our side. I don't just feel that. I don't just think that. I have some numbers. We commissioned a poll from Lake Research Partners, and we found that 72% of women are on the side of groups who are specifically raising up women's issues, including sexual harassment and equal pay. And Donald Trump is only supported by about 30% of people, so we are winning people. We are the winners in this room. We have a landslide of support. The power, and I want to sit with this for a moment, the power of the vast majority of people outside of this room is on our side. We are rising together. And as we ride, rise, we know that this is our moment, this is our time to share our state of the union, to hear our stories from people who will take this stage and to rise together. And our nation needs us to rise. The poll I just mentioned, it uncovered that people actually know the degree of sexual harassment and unfair pay that women are experiencing across our nation, and it's a big deal. I'm going to share some stats because I love stats. I'll share them with you. Latina women are earning just 54 cents to a white man's dollar. Native American women are earning just 57 cents. Black women are earning just 63 cents. Women with disabilities and transgender women are also experiencing extreme wage discrimination. Moms, and 82% of women in America do become moms, are earning only 71 cents to a man's dollar. And women overall are earning just 80 cents to a man's dollar. That is not okay, but we can change this. Who is here to say we can change this? <laughs> By we, I mean you. I mean we. I mean us all together. And I mean that we need to change ending the cradle to prison pipeline. We've got to protect the dreamers and all immigrant families. We have to pass paid family medical leave and so much more. Can we do it? Yes, we can. Can we do it? Can we do it? Now you might be wondering how, and I would invite everybody to look around, post that selfie online and say, this is our movement that Alicia just asked you to get. And note, but together, we are an amazing, world-changing force. And I want to hear us roar so loudly that the people who are sitting so quietly up on the U.S. Capitol can hear us. Can we roar? Thank you. Thank you. And this isn't just talk or yelling. Look at what happened this past year. Women helped save health care for 30 million people not once, but twice. Who here sent a letter, made a call, saved a life? Who here did that? Raise your hand. Women are making major strides in cities and states across the country, across issue areas, across policies, across communities, knowing that gender justice is racial justice, is economic justice, and one never happens without the other. We rise with and for one another, knowing we cannot win anyone's freedom without fighting for everyone's freedom. And our momentum together is growing. At Moms Rising, our members, over a million members in the last year, that's not a small sum of women, took double the actions that they took last year, just in this year alone. Women are on fire, and that fire has ignited. We are imagining the better world. We are reaching for it. And I want to just have a moment here as we're talking about the State of the Union, because make no mistake, the fight for women's rights to succeed 
is a fight for our nation to succeed. So together and intersectionally, we are marching to voting booths across the nation, to state legislatures, to our nation's capital, and we are resisting, we are persisting, we are insisting that the racism, the sexism, the white supremacy that Trump and his followers are pushing into destructive policies ends right now. We will not back down. We will keep voting. We will keep marching. And we will win. This is our State of the Union. My name is Kristen Rao Finkbeiner. I believe in our union very strongly. And I pledge to fight for every single one of us. Thank you.